Hi, this is Ron Martinson of ronmartblog.com, and I'm here to show you how to use Adobe Photoshop 6 with your Epson 3880 printer and using Luster Paper by Epson. So let's do File, Print, and you'll notice I have a kind of a weird print preview. Ignore that on uh, something specific to my version of Photoshop. Doesn't impact printing, so if you see it too. Don't worry about it. Hopefully Adobe will fix that for us soon. Now make sure you have the correct printer selected. You may see multiple versions of the same printer. This is my network version. This is my locally connected version. Um, use whichever one's right for your needs. Make sure your layout's set correct. And generally the preview will give you a clue if you've got that right or wrong. Um, we want to make sure that our color handling says Photoshop manages colors. And the reason why we do that is so we can set a paper profile or printer profile. And we want to come in here and choose um, for our 3880 printer premium luster photo paper. It's very important to choose the right one, not one of these other ones that are next to it. Luster photo paper. We want to send 16 bit data. Honestly, it doesn't make any difference in print quality from what my eyes can tell, but it sends more data. Maybe in the future that could be a good thing. Um, rel rendering intent. I usually choose relative color metric. That works for most of my images. You may find some of your images that saturation or perceptual does a better job. Um, use whatever works for you. You can print with one for each and see how it works. I can turn on match print colors and change between those values and see how it impacts my print as well. Black point compensation. Always leave it on. Centered. I usually leave mine centered all the time. Scaled print size. This is um, something that I usually leave it at 100% for mine. If I want my image to bleed off the edge, I'll make it the same exact size. If I want it to uh, leave a white border, I'll make my image a little smaller. But some people um, maybe made a mistake and it doesn't fit very well. You can do scaled fit media and then it will shrink the paper or grow the paper to get to the edges. It's totally fine. Most people are happy with the quality of that. If you're real stickler for every pixel has to be perfect, then you don't want to do scaling. Now if I go to print settings, this is for the printer driver. You still have to set these. And we'll come along here and we'll say for paper size, we want to choose um, a borderless paper for most of the stuff that I do. Um, if you want a border, then just choose regular paper. But pay attention to these values as I oops, excuse me. As I hover over these, we'll see a little tooltip that says the top and bottom margins are 0 0.79 inches and the left and right are uh, 0 0.12. That's really important. That's pretty big margins. So um, if I use the manual front tray, I'm going to have very big margins. If I just do a letter, I have 0 0.12 and 0 0.12. That's more reasonable, uh, but it is a margin. If you want no margins at all, then you're going to have to come down here to borderless. And there's different types of borderless. There's borderless with the sheet feeder, and there's borderless with the manual rear feeder. And we can choose to auto expand our borderless, or we can come over here and choose borderless where we retain the size. And what that just says is, it says, don't. Uh, send it to the printer exactly the size that I have it, don't scale it for me. So let's say retain size and let's use our um, either manual uh, rear feed, which I like to use, or the sheet feeder. Totally up to you. I'm going to choose manual rear. Color matching. If we set our value here to put Photoshop manages color properly, then color matching should be disabled paper handling. If you don't want scaling, turn that off. Otherwise, make sure it matches the value we chose earlier, which is correct. It says US letter, manual rear, borderless, retain size. Don't need a cover page for printer settings. We want to make sure that we're using ultra premium photo paper luster. We can choose to do our 16-bit output to match what we put in Photoshop and we can choose our highest resolution. 1440 is just fine. 12, 8, uh, 2880 is the maximum resolution. So you want maximum results, use that. 
high speed. We want to make sure that when the printer is going to left and right, coming back and forth, um, that we print both directions. So uh, we turn on high speed. If we turn that off, it'll print one direction, stop, come back, and then print again. So you get half the printing coverage. So I usually leave high speed turned on. If you had a paper that didn't dry very quickly, then you would turn that off. The luster dries instantly, so you can leave that turned on, not a problem. Advanced color settings is a really cool feature that it tells us that for this media type, this is the appropriate uh, color sync profile. And we set the appropriate color sync profile earlier, so that's great. It's a good tip. Double check what you're doing. Um, page layout settings. Don't need to do anything here because we set that with our paper size. Advanced media control. Don't mess with these. They're basically set for us when we choose our media type, and it's only an override if we need to make any changes. So we hit save. You'll notice that our print preview um, added a little bit of uh, border in here. I wanted to fill that in. I'd say scale to fit media. And that gets me right up to the edge so it does a full bleed. Um, so you see the 347 PPI. Now if I had to come back in here and for my size I would have said instead of retained size I said auto expand. I can choose manual or sheet feeder, either one. I hit save. You notice it's going to expand my image to make sure it bleeds off the edge and goes uh, right to the edge without me doing the scale to fit media. We're still 360. Both of them are technically scaling, so uh, how you do your scaling is up to you. And then I hit print. Boom, I now have a print. So visit runmartblog.com to learn more and get discounts on paper or tutorials and lots of great information about uh, Epson and Canon printers. Thank you very much.